Welcome to In the Green Room. I'm Kinga. This is Martin. And this is Owen. And the lovely Pearl. Hello, Pearl everyone. Is back. Welcome, <laughs> Pearl. <is back. laughs> Kicking off the year with, with my peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 2024. Happy 2024. It's been a good one so far. Yeah, and we are focusing on <laughs> positivity. Eight days in. Eight days, Eight days in. in. I'm, I'm having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so far this year is going to be the best year ever. Oh, I, it's 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 looking like it's going to be a pretty good one, I think. How about you, I Owen? I agree, yeah. This year is looking pretty nice. <laughs> Had some uh, some good things happen so far, so I'm good. excited for the potential of it. Awesome. Sweet. It's great. That's so great. do you have anything like in particular that you're trying to manifest? Do you have? Did, did you make any resolutions, Kinga? Yes. Uh, I feel this is the improvement of myself. Okay. And I think that if we can love ourselves first, then we attract love and we attract positivity what do you think about that pearl i agree i mean it starts with loving you first mm -hmm. and loving you means knowing who you are mm -hmm. you know when yes. you dig in deep knowing who you are owning that receiving that and then and then putting that back out there into the world i'm all over that and, and being all about your passion mm -hmm. i mean what like what do you love and how you're gonna like you said manifest the positivity for the whole entire year um i, I think that if you you know, make a list of everything mm -hmm. that's important. Do you do that? Are you a list maker? I don't make a list, but the last couple of years I've been doing something called the 12 week, 12 week year, which in a business term, it's basically taking the concept of, hey, I have this goal for a year and instead breaking it down so you're doing it in 12 week chunks. And, Ooh, you, get, and you get a lot more done. So I mm -hmm. have goals for this next set of 12 weeks. And what for I both business and for personal, and okay. I'm, that's a I'm smart not, idea. Can you give I, us I, I, I like an categories. example? Can, can you give us an example of how you set the goal? Like, give us a yes. category, and just you don't have to give us an actual goal, but like an example of what you would make as a goal. Right, absolutely. So, one of my goals this year is a revenue goal for my business. Obviously, okay. so you want to make X dollars right. in the next twelve weeks. In the next oh. twelve okay. weeks, mm -hmm. cool. and then you have tactics, or how are you going to accomplish mm -hmm. that? And you literally break it down, put the time all the steps that you're going to need mm -hmm. and then put the due dates put it into your calendar with the tasks and then you just work the plan mm -hmm. i mean obviously you can just when you're like eh, it's not working but ultimately it's like i have three tactics to get to this specific revenue goal for the next 12 weeks now were those tactics really clear for you like oh okay i want to make let's well i'm just going to throw out a number i want to make twelve thousand dollars in the next 12 weeks did you already have, okay, these tactics just come to you? Okay, this is how I can make this money. Or did you struggle with it? What, what was your process to kind of get to those tactics? It's a mix. I mean, for me, I have a business coach per, for that. So it was yeah. easier okay. in that sense of we talked through it, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we reviewed what worked last year, what didn't work, and then we were able to come up with it. I have some personal goals. One of, them, one of them is relationships, right? And that one was more of a struggle because I'm like, oh. I have this goal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how do I, how do I manifest mm -hmm. this? How, as, you know, that's the term we use. Like, how do mm -hmm. I accomplish this? And I had to really kind of meditate and pray and go, okay, God, give me some wisdom and guidance. How do I do this? Because what is your what is your relationship goal? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that show. <laughs> <laughs> However, part of <laughs> but part of the thing that came to me was just having a solid, strong support group because I, mm -hmm. I tend to be a homebody, mm -hmm. and I've learned that a gentleman is not going to show up at my front door with a neon sign pointing <laughs> on top of his head saying, "This is the one." <laughs> so, you go out and that guy. <laughs> so I'm going to actually go outside of my house, and I realized I needed support and encouragement, like mm -hmm. creating a group of, uh, especially single women, to go out and hang out with outside yeah. of my house. Right. Right. So that's mm -hmm. part of one of the tactics. And you're looking is, apart. Look at this. Look how she's dressing so <laughs> fine. <laughs> you know, I do try. But it's, <laughs> it's going on. I realize I'm like, I actually have to go out. So one of my other tactics is going out once a week. Every week. It's I not something it. I enjoy, by the way, clearly, because I like to stay You're home. an introvert. So you right. say that it's kind of like going out of your comfort zone in a way. Oh, it's so where wait. Well, my word for this year, that's the one thing mm -hmm. I love. I, I've gotten words before it was trendy. Now it's trendy. So I just am like, eh. But my word for this year was was breakthrough. And mm -hmm. my phrase, one of the, the kind of the phraseology is breakthrough comfort, breakthrough mm -hmm. the ceiling. And so, yeah, I'm yeah. way, 
outside of my comfort oh, yeah. zone on all of these goals, mm -hmm. on all of these goals. So once a week, uh, you're gonna go out with, with some friends, yeah, and just find a place to go mm -hmm. where yeah. you can. Mm -hmm. uh, Restaurants. Yeah, anything bowling. from happy hour to I mean bowling to if someone has an idea. At this point, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just willing to just a football game. Go outside. Mm -hmm. Now, is this something that you worked on with your coach, or is this just something that you were like, no, this is this is for me. The personal goals were for me, mm -hmm. uh, so I worked on them myself. Well, with God, so mm -hmm. a lot of time in spending in mm -hmm. prayer and meditation and going, okay, what are we focusing on this year, and then also just because from a business standpoint going, okay, here's how I accomplished these goals last year. So if I'm serious about these goals, what am I gonna, another one is organizing my home. Mm -hmm. Especially when I get busy, I forget about That's it. That's a good one. That's right? a good one. Decluttering, organizing. Exactly. And That's so one. one of the mm -hmm. things was, um, I was referred to an amazing organizing group. And so they're starting with my garage first because it's easier. That's their business. That's mm -hmm. their job. So it's a mix of different things, right? Finding so you hired somebody exactly. to come in and uh, declutter your garage? Yep. You're starting with the garage first? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're coming in They and they're going to come in March. What is that charge? I don't have that. Is it per hour? Or? It is per hour, but what they do is really they come to your space mm -hmm. and they, they assess it and then they tell you how many hours and they have an, a per hour charge. Mm -hmm. And if it's less than that, they'll charge you for what they actually do, but they give you a general like, we think it's going to be this much mm -hmm. and they they are going to i mean this is what they say and other people who've used them they'll come in they'll organize they'll pull everything out they clean your whole entire space and then they put it into organized so useful organization the way you use it so you can get to things quicker mm -hmm. it's like okay. i think that's a great way to start off the new year in 2024 to declutter Absolutely. clean sure. do your you know people waste so much time looking for things and right uh, you, you know when there's too much clutter you just don't have time to go through or you don't have time to throw it away and yeah and, 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 and actually donating stuff that you don't need mm -hmm. helps others it does yeah. so uh, i think that I think we should, we could all do a little decluttering. Absolutely. Do you guys want to come over and help me do some decluttering? <laughs> That's not my. You need to, you need to call her. Yeah, people. I was gonna say, I, I have people. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, Sherry does that for us. She's, she's the organizer. She's the organizer. <laughs> so is she good at getting rid of and donating stuff? Uh, for the most part. I mean, it, mm -hmm. we both, that's definitely something we both need to get better at. But we're also in a very small house. So we have gotten much, much better at it because uh, our house is small. So if we get, bring something in, something's got to go. Uh, so we've definitely gotten much, yeah. much better at that. How about you, Owen? Do you have any decluttering to do? Yeah, I do. I gotta, <laughs> with the new year, I got to get my room in check and just you know, help my parents a little bit declutter. Some of the stuff is mine throughout the house. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, clean up your stuff. I'm like, okay, I will. <laughs> but, but then sometimes you you get rid of too much stuff and then you're like oh shoot why did I, why did i get rid of that i needed that i think it's you know? a balance it is a balance but i also think you know one of the uh not a rule of manifesting mm -hmm. but a, a guideline of manifesting is you have to make room for something to to bring mm -hmm. into your life so if you make room for it first then something better may come along kind of kind of idea well okay for example a, a, a few years ago i got rid of all my dressy dresses like mm -hmm. all my sequence dresses uh, everything from my, you know, ex right. husband, you know, yeah. the whole. And there's a few I'm items like, you'd be like, oh, I wish I had that dress or well, something. Well, like now when I go to get dressed up for, a, you know, uh -huh. a fancy party, I'm like, I have to go buy a dress. <laughs> so I probably should have kept a few. It's true, but I mean, fashion is is cyclical as well, right? So yes. you made space for something new. But it's yes. funny, you said, that the, uh, um, Martin, that you sometimes you have to let go of things to make space so we're talking about relationships for me mm -hmm. i realized that there were some relationships i had to let go to make space mm -hmm. for these other relationships mm -hmm. that i wanted so it's not just things it's it's it could be as much as people or emotions or or moments right. but you do you have to let go sometimes a lot of times you have to let go of not everything but certain things mm -hmm. so that you make space for something new to come right so you have more time true more time but it's also it, it's this concept of just the the universe, if you want to use that term, abhors a vacuum. So if there's a hole, it wants to fill it, right? Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do when we talk about manifesting or making something come into being, right, is you have this thing you want. Well, make space for it to happen, right? If you aren't making space, you're not creating a hole for it, 
there's nowhere for this new thing that you want to come in. You might you talked about your house. Your house is small. It's like, dude, if we want something new, something has, <laughs> has to, to go, go out. Exactly. Okay, yeah. well, you want something new in your life. Mm -hmm. Something has to go out. Mm -hmm. Because right now, technically, your life is full. Mm -hmm. So what are you making space for so that you can get this new thing into your life? I love that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that yeah. that's one of the reasons that uh, I encourage my coaching clients to write down their goals. Or to create something that works for them, like you use this twelve week thing. They so I, I recommend it's all written. Personal. Yeah, it's, it's still it's still it's written. Still it's written. still I mean, in my world, everything's digital. Mm -hmm. but, but I do have it all written down. Right. And of course, I have a few people that know about these this very specific goals, so they can ask me about it. Right. Hi, how's that going? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Right. You've got some. You've got some self accountability, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, and that's the beauty of it. And you're far more. This was there was a Harvard study quite a while ago about. You know the difference between students who wrote their goals down versus students who didn't write their goals down and the students that wrote their goals down you know they checked in with them you know five years ten years they, they keep really close tabs on on their graduates and the ones that were tended to write their goals down were far more successful and achieved a far more of those goals than the, the mm -hmm. folks that didn't write any goals down yeah i i don't know where the study came from but the stat is just writing it down is like 40 you're 40 percent of the way there mm -hmm. right. just writing it down mm -hmm. right because it's it, it's you're crystallizing it and you're thinking about it enough to be able to concisely write it on a piece of paper and the way that i've been uh, taught uh, throughout the, the the ages is to write it in a way that is uh, as if it's already happened or if it's happening yes action um, words start with action, an action words word. right because if if i if you i want x then that's you're just gonna want that the whole, um, the, the the whole year, right? If you if it's a year resolution mm -hmm. or twelve week, but if you I am, I have this, I am enjoying it, and then there's the next step is once you write down the goals, is sit down with each one of them and spend some time imagining the goal and visualizing the goal and actually experiencing the joy of achieving the goal. So, so you Pearl, you need to visualize your wedding. She does. I do. Because <laughs> she knows this. She we're in this top of the life. Yes, <laughs> and that, that's the, the reason why is because your subconscious doesn't understand words. It understands emotions and feelings and pictures. So I think now as people talk about visualization, they talk about exactly what Martin said. You've got to sit down and you have to imagine how this would feel. Mm -hmm. And the joy, or I mean, hopefully joy, otherwise, why in the world are Would you, you do using it? this? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been times where I've sat down and I've, I've written down a goal and, you know, I write as many as I can think of and then I'll go back through them and I'll hit a goal and I would start thinking about it. It's like, no, that's not what I want. That, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. And, you For know, example, so you, like what? Oh, I, I haven't done it yet this year. Mm -hmm. Um... I can't, I can't think of anything, but mm -hmm. if I think of an example, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, let but I can't okay. think of anything specific, but I do remember the feeling of, oh, this, is, this isn't this is exactly what I thought I wanted. Like, I think mm -hmm. at some point I wanted a boat. And then I got to the boat, and I'm enjoying the boat, and then I'm pulling the boat out of the water, and then I'm fixing the boat, and I'm just <laughs> wiping the boat down. And I'm like, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Maybe I want to rent a boat. <laughs> where are you storing the boat? Right, where am I going to store the boat? Right, so <laughs> that kind of thing. But that's funny. You talked about that. That's also part of the process for your goals. Think about what things could hold you up from accomplishing that mm -hmm. goal, right? In Martin's case, it took him down a different path when he realized, mm, that's, a, that's lot a lot more of work. Than I wanted. So, scratch that goal up. <laughs> no, I think that's a, that's a very important part, and I think that's part of the imagining because as you imagine it, you do you, your brain will naturally go to the obstacles, right? And yeah. so that gives you the path of the. I, I love this twelve week thing. So if, if you set a, a year goal and then you see that there's four different milestones, if you will. Okay, then you've got your perfect twelve week twelve week plan right laid out right in front of you. Exactly. Which will change probably oh, as yeah. all plans do, but they do. But you have a starting point. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Is you have a starting point. Yeah. You know, last year I had a revenue goal, mm -hmm. and again, my business coach challenged me. He always asks for a goal, a stretch goal, and a BHAG. And if you don't know the term BHAG, it's a big, hairy, audacious goal. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a business marketing term, but and he usually goes. 20 your goal 25 percent for your stretch 50 percent well at least that's how i do it i don't think he told me this but i did because my word revenue goal so it's 
my goal, and then 25% for my stretch and 50% for my BHAG. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to give people some tangible ways to get to those numbers. Mm -hmm. What about with your personal goals? How are we doing that? It's the same thing. One of them is, I know I look fabulous, but I'm a little bit you bigger than I have been. So I've got some weight goals, mm -hmm. you know? And it, it's honestly the same thing because I know where I should be for healthy. And then so I was like, my goal, there's a realistic number. Like, okay, realistically, here's what I think I can do. And then there's the stretch. And then here's the BHAG for, for mm -hmm. this year, right? And then you break it down. But I had, last year I had a revenue goal mm -hmm. and I got challenged, my business coach challenged me to look about halfway through the year, why don't we have your BHAG be your new, your new regular goal? And I about panicked, sticking in the uh, laughed at him mm -hmm. and went on my merry way. As I was doing my numbers for the end of the year, guess what number I made? I had made my BHAG mm -hmm. revenue goal for Very the cool. year. Oh, fantastic. Which, to give you context, just two years ago, Mm -hmm. I hadn't even made 10k for my business. Mm -hmm. My BHAG goal this year was was 75k. Mm -hmm. So that was that's why it was unrealistic to me because mm -hmm. just given where I have been thus far, that was not a realistic concept. Like I don't even know how I would get there. Right. But thinking about it and putting it out there, it got there to me. I was blessed with clients. I was blessed with the work over the year. And then as I started, and I was tracking the numbers, not consistently. I got busy by the end, so I didn't even know I was close until I started doing the numbers. So mm -hmm. that's another part of it is just tracking what you're doing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so when I started doing that... Do you mean writing like, it down? Yeah, literally. Yeah. I have yeah. trackers. I have them all. Mm -hmm. I have Google Sheets. I have different trackers that I have. So tracking it, mm -hmm. the progress, even if it's just once a month, I looked at it and then the year's like, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> this goes <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's very and cool. And it very also good. talks to the power of, of what you're doing, right? That you, you, you knew you wanted to uh, make accomplishments, so you sought out a mentor, a coach. Uh, then you listened to that coach, and now you are successful. It, it's it's not hard. You just have to do it, <laughs> right? But it's hard. It's not. It's not <laughs> easy. You're right. It's simple, simple, but not you, easy. Thank you. Thank you. That's a much better word. Oh, I'll take one of those, Ellen. <laughs> Got some wipes going <laughs> on. Spill okay. Well, and here, one of my goals is to to lose a little weight. Okay. And so that's why I'm drinking tea. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking tea well, that's instead part of having of, any. Yep. I'm not have, we're not having wine today. Exactly. Well, that's part of for for me. I'm doing dry January just as much for health weight wise all, all of the things right and, and it's just um, it's also to know that I can accomplish it that I can do it mm -hmm. and I also have clients who some st struggle with alcohol so if I can't yeah. if I can't st stop drinking for a month how am so, I gonna yeah. tell them to recognize what's what's happening mm -hmm. with them so it's it's really making sure that I'm taking care of myself so I can help other people setting the example yeah, exactly. Lead by there example. Yeah. Lead by Absolutely. example. Yes. So cheers. Cheers. To cheers. Uh, setting our goals and making them happen. Cheers to not cheers. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. And uh, the only one here that's not um, single is Martin. Yeah. So Martin has to give us some tips on 2024 um, dating. Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I got Cherry. Is I was tired of the dating scene I was uh, I was done with with just all of it and so I sat down and I wrote uh, I entitled it my girl and I just wrote down everything that I wanted in a woman uh, brown hair the brown eyes this height athletic and you know started superficial but then really went much much deeper and um, and this is who she is. And then I also, then I spent some time thinking about who would I have to be in order to attract someone like that. Mm -hmm. And little did I know that I already knew Sherry when I wrote this, wrote this note. I just didn't know her well enough to know whether she qualified. I and mean, she never even, when I was writing that note, she wasn't even in, in the, the picture of my mind of, of what that would be. And then <laughs> about maybe a year later, because I'd known her for about a year and then I knew her, continue her for a year. And then- Wait, how did you meet her? Um, Remind us of that. I met her through a friend of a friend. Uh, mm -hmm. She came to one of our first junk shows. Uh, 
uh, that we oh, did at okay. uh, Dave so and Buster's out, uh, out at uh, uh, North somewhere. Phoenix. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere down there. Somewhere, somewhere down there. Somewhere that way. Um, oh, at Desert Ridge. Yeah, Desert Ridge. Thank you. And um, she came with some friends, and she knew some people that I knew, and so we became friends and were, you know, at a few parties together. And then... Um, so, John, she, you impressed her with your singing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a part of it, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but, and she, you know, she got along with my friends and, and all that kind of thing. And then it wasn't until much later where I was actually out with some, with some friends of mine having dinner, and we went to a piano bar on the, on the west side, of, I think it was west, Westgate, and we were having a ball, and her and a friend walked in, and it was like I had seen a different person, and they walked in, and I was like, ooh, that's interesting. And then I invited her to a music festival for the next weekend, and she said yes, and the rest is history. But, but I, I wrote it down. I, who pursued who? Did you say I, you? It, well, I pursued her in that I invited her to a music festival, and then once we got together and we're hanging out. But could you out, already just, tell, was she already flirting with you? Was she already, oh, could you yeah. feel the vibe that she liked you? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it wasn't... You weren't like, oh, this is a really far a stretch. The dark, just no, 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 but, but I, I wasn't really aware of it until that night where they ran, where her and her friend randomly were at the same place I was. Because we didn't know, we neither one of us planned on being there. We just happened to be there at the same time. So serendipitous. So very, it was very serendipitous. Um, but that night I was like, oh, there might, be, there might be something here. So I'm just going to invite her to a music festival, you know, with, with a group of friends. So it's, you know, no no pressure if it's if the spark's not there, but it happened to be there. So. <laughs> well, that is. But I think the key for me, and she did the same thing. She told me later that you know she she has also has that list. So we wrote that list and uh, it's separately, and they it manifested. It happened. So how many uh, like twenty items? How many things did you write? It was, I don't know. It was two pages solid of handwritten. Wow. Uh, not skipping lines, just uh, wow. handwritten couple couple columns. Um, and just short, I mean, I didn't write, you know, I'm not a, I'm more of a bullet point kind of person. So it was yeah. more like bullet points of, of, of what I was looking for. But I really spent some time thinking about, you know, uh, political views, uh, uh, religious views, like really what, what, what was important to me and what wasn't important to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think by taking that time, that's, that allowed me to just, Kind of cut out the riffraff, so to speak, very quickly. Qualify. <laughs> did, did you also have a list of no's, like things that were unacceptable, or did you not even? Write I, that down? I I didn't go that way because mm -hmm. I feel, and I've been told this by my mentors, that if you if you focus on that negative, then that's what you're going to get. Yes. Oh, if you say I, I don't want well. this, then that's what you're going to get. Versus, I want this. I am this. I have this is mm. far more likely. And I think any time you, you, you look at the negative side of things, I think it brings a darker... Bring the um, energy to you. Yeah, well, darker energy here, to you, yeah. It does, and the other part I'm hearing, I don't know how true this is, is that your subconscious doesn't understand the word no, don't. So when you say, I don't want this, all it's really hearing is, I. It's, want it. it's, it's literally, I want this it. I want. So that's why you're attracting mm -hmm. that negative. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just stick with what you truly want than saying, yeah. this is not not what I want. Right. So if there's something that you don't want, what's the opposite? Yeah, of flip it and yeah, say, this is what it. I want. Yeah. So was there anything powerful. in the list that uh, you felt, okay, well, I didn't really want this, but I'll, she has everything else. Was there anything on that list? Not that, that I can recall a, of any substance whatsoever. Um, she fit the bill. Like I, like when I read it, I was just shocked. You know, after after because I think we've been dating for about nine nine or ten months before I actually pulled the list out because I was a digital, I, I you know I digitized mm. it and, and and pulled it up and boy she she hit every it's amazing yeah it was amazing uh, but that's the power of writing down what you want and really spending that mental energy to really decide what you want because it I, it took me a while it it wasn't just you know twenty minutes that I wrote this thing I wrote this over s several weeks. Okay, so it was not just a 30 minute deal. No, not for me. Okay. I so had to Pearl, spend some time thinking list? about what I wanted. I, I haven't. I'm, I'm starting at the beginning, so support group. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Owen? Um, I haven't made a list, but I definitely have like some thoughts. A mentalist? My, yeah, kind of a mentalist, but I do think writing it down would be beneficial just to really put it into perspective 
and have it in front of you to see it. Mm -hmm. But I really like how we, we started off the show and we talked before the show that really, um, if you feel like you, it's 2024, and if you feel like instead of focusing on looking for somebody else, just improving yourself and loving yourself first. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, I, I, obviously sitting at home, you're not gonna meet anybody, but like hiking, for example or going to, you know, areas to go for a walk. Well, Martin said something, mm -hmm. but he kind of just quickly said it, but he said something that was important. He had this list and then he thought, okay, what kind of person do I need to be to attract that person, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Who do I need to be? And that that's, that's as equally as important, right? Because you're like, okay, I want this person, but well, let's be real. Let's be real. This person's gonna be attracted to a certain kind of person, right? Mm -hmm. Am I that person? And do I want to be that person? Because if I don't, then we're going to adjust this <laughs> list that I just exactly. made. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why it took me so long. Because I really had to think about that. I had to re really think that through. And I'd never done that before. You know, I've, mm -hmm. I've been married. I had uh, been, uh, dated a lot of women. But I've never really, like, what do I really want? I've, okay, now I've had all this experience. I've, I've seen what I like and I've seen what I don't like. Uh, what what now do I what do I think that I want? And well, after you got divorced, from when you got divorced mm -hmm. to when you met Sherry, how long was that? Well, how long were you single? I was single. Well, I I left in two thousand six. I met Sherry in two thousand nine. We started dating in two thousand eleven. Okay, so you were single for a whole three years before you even met her. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and you were finding okay until you made this list, you weren't finding anybody that was even yeah. And we and we didn't date or anything. She was we were uh, dating people at different times. So like every time you know if I was single, she was dating, and so it was never even a, a thought process. But just you know, just synchronicity. Once I decided what I wanted, and she decided what she wanted, synchronicity brought us together, and we got it. It's amazing. It really is incredible. Yeah. But is. that is the power of writing it down. That's why I, I, I tell that story to all of my clients because I've done the same thing with businesses. I've done the same thing, you know, with my personal life and my, you know, my coaching. What do I want uh, out of coaching? And now I'm, at the, I have the job I want, I've always wanted. So uh, mm -hmm. that's that's the power of it. Just a pearl. Just in the last two years, the difference it's made just because you wrote something down. That that's the power of what we're talking about. It's it's almost like having a secret magic power. You just got to do the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he's the love life coach. He's living the dream. What other tips do you have for S3 single? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, step one <laughs> is absolutely writing down what you want. Okay. Step two is imagining who you can be to attract that person. Step three is to start on those things, whether it's getting into better shape, being able to, maybe it's uh, traveling, maybe it's... Um, being more worldly, right? I, I want somebody who, who's worldly, who, who knows more than one culture. Well, I need to be that person. I need to be traveling. I need to go meet new people, um, that kind of thing. Reading books. Reading books, self-improvement, I think. Store. Absolutely, I think <laughs> uh, reading books on relationships, reading books on dating. I did I did a lot of research on on all of that, like how to be a better partner, how to be a better mate, how to, be a, how to have, have relationships. I, I dived very deeply into all that stuff because I wanted to learn what I didn't know. I mean, obviously, I had all these failed relationships, so okay, well, let's go to some experts. Let's read some books. Let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's expand my mind so now I know, oh, something that I didn't know before. I love it. So, Owen, are you going to get started today? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's, I'm definitely thinking about it, but at this point in my life, I'm already looking for a relationship. Mm -hmm with college and work and everything I just want to like explore just see what works what doesn't so I'll definitely make a list and then as I experience add and subtract from the list but I don't think I'm gonna make like a defined list right now at my point in my but, it, but it's adding friends too well yeah it doesn't have to be somebody that you're yes. gonna marry it doesn't have to well be somebody, that was right that was one of the things on the list is that she's she's got to be my friend first yeah right and so mm -hmm. and we were friends first but i didn't even i had done, i didn't think that at the in the moment it was mm -hmm. just no i this person needs to be my friend right and, and so that kind of idea so it's it's this idea of opening yourself up and i was much older at the time so yeah. i i knew what what i wanted and what i didn't want right mm -hmm. and i was able to flip what i didn't want into what i wanted right now your goal could be 
I'm finding out exactly what I want, right? Mm, that, exactly, that could be yeah. a goal, <laughs> is that I'm learning yeah. what I want to learn. It's like exploring, learning, mm -hmm. experiencing. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the principles are the same. It doesn't have to be just for relationships. It's for any goal mm -hmm. that, or any area in your life that you're working towards. Take yep. those same concepts of, you know, what what am I looking for? What do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? Breaking it down and, and going, okay, <laughs> where do I line up and where don't I line up? Mm. And then what do I need to do to help line that up to make this real in my life? Right. Or well, it's all about self-improvement. Right. right. Or exactly. Yeah. You know, yes. There's a great book, Who Not um, What? And so it's like, sometimes it's a who. For me, I've accepted decluttering is a great thing. It's not going to happen with me. So mm -hmm. I was given a who. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Hey, well, and, and resources. If, if, if we all work on ourselves, which we've Instead. talked about in multiple shows, and you feel happier yourself, mm -hmm. like, you know, whether it's doing the hikes or the workouts, reading more, um, meditation, um, you know, praying to God, um, s spending time with just happy, quality people that you enjoy, uh, you know, all those different little um positive you know vibes i think will bring more attract more people that are happy mm -hmm. of, of your vibe i agree and i would just challenge everyone like who you are today you may not be whatever version of perfect you have in your head of you but truly enjoy who you are today like i was enjoying oh, that's when I great said yeah my from a weight standpoint and how i looked i am the largest i've ever been in my life ever but you look great but I just was like, okay, cool. This is where I'm this at. This is where I'm at now, right. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's not a stuck in stone thing. Like it's yeah. not, this is not gonna be me. So I'm step by step working towards where I want to be. But I still do like me today. Mm -hmm. And so people, mm -hmm. I've gotten more compliments in the last year of being the largest I've ever <laughs> been <laughs> than not because I accepted me today. Right. And I'm working mm -hmm. towards me for tomorrow. Well, I think part of that I too is because so, so many people beat themselves up. I, 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 I spend a, a, and I'm a good significant at that, I know. amount of time <laughs> yeah. with my coaching clients because they yeah. beat themselves up. And that's part of accepting, just like you accepted who you are. You could have easily said, oh, I can't believe I suck at organizing. I am such a terrible person because I can't organize. I can't believe what a slob I am. I mean, you could have, there's a lot of people have that self-talk. Absolutely. I started there, didn't right. get anywhere. Right. <laughs> And then you're able to recognize that that was just negative self-talk, move it to the side, say, okay, thank you, I get you, move it to the side, and then, okay, what can I do? Find someone who has that skill, who has that passion, mm -hmm. who loves to organize. Why? It makes complete sense mm -hmm. then, but it doesn't when you're beating yourself up. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. No, it's very true. I mean, I really don't like hiking or working out mm -hmm. or any of these lovely things that other people do. You don't even like going outside. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I do if it's a concert or a movie right, or a okay. show. Yeah. But you'll notice most of those are all still in buildings. Just yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you like to eat out. Yes, but it's still yet another building. Another building. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So I'm very much a city girl. <laughs> <laughs> I could so walk in that nature. <laughs> I you know it's funny, I actually really appreciate nature. I love taking pictures of it, mm -hmm. but I'm not that person that wants to revel in it mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, and situate my life in it. I need city. I need to be able to walk out my door and experience culture and people and, and enjoy things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I would do more things out if I didn't have to drive. Driving here is emotionally scarring. Okay, so <laughs> hold on. Let's see, let's see. you make your list and you meet your Mr. Ray. But he wants to take you camping. And he says, let's go on a two-week camping trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I've actually thought about that. Because I, laughing. Because, exactly. So I was like, I will go with you camping. Here are my stipulations. I need to, it has to be a trailer or mm -hmm. I need some form of indoor plumbing. Mm -hmm. Look, because here's the deal. If you, Once you get to them, you know me. It, it'd be like someone saying, probably never want you to change your hair again. It's like, well, you got the wrong person. We can be friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There's also who I am. And right. I could mm -hmm. pretend to be someone else, but that doesn't help. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the other part. Like, be you. Like, you're awesome. Mm -hmm. You are a fantastic person. There's someone out there that's going to appreciate all your quirks, nooks, and crannies. 
So just be real about who that person is. But I, I see you camping. I see you camping. I really yeah, do. Yeah, I've gone camping. You don't see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I have a friend, and he, he ended up with his wife uh, because he would always take a girl camping to see... Uh, you know how if she was really high maintenance, it, yeah. and if, if she could look good without makeup on, if she could just you know chill about you know all that and be good yeah, with but the those bugs. Are, I think those are different things. Like, and he ruled yes, out a lot I, of women because they wouldn't go camping. I can do that, but I also don't. I, I like having a mattress. I like mm -hmm. having indoor yeah. plumbing. Well, cheers! I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's stay in the four season. <laughs> Thank you. It's like, I'm grown. Y'all don't, I, there's no reasons for me to be on a sleeping bag. There is none. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fair. You know, I, I like experiences. So I'm that person that you can convince me to prepare, do something like Mount Everest, just because that's a cool experience. Do it once. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. if that's your thing and you want to do it every year, that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. You get me once in a lifetime. Check. Right. And we're, <laughs> we're going to the next thing. <laughs> Well, do you have anybody in mind for Pearl? Uh, she hasn't <laughs> written her list yet. Pretty <laughs> <Good> answer. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, That's right. Goodness, check it twice. <laughs> check it twice. That's right. Well, because there are a lot of men, too, that aren't campers. They, oh yeah, they're city they guys. There's yeah. no doubt about it. They don't want to be in a tent. Mm -hmm. They 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 want a mattress. Mm -hmm. They want plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. They want a five star meal. Actually, I've... Chet's that way. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> well, it, it's just it's a lot of different things, you know. You, again, it's about knowing yourself and then going what what do you really like? As you get older, you figure out, hmm, okay, this is what mm -hmm. I really like. I mean, camping we're we're having fun, enjoying that. But for me, it's. It, character is very important. Who is this person, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Who are they? Something that's randomly odd is I would love to have someone who loves the arts but also loves sports. I don't care about sports. Mm -hmm. The rest of my family cares about sports. And because <laughs> I'm close to my family or a mm -hmm. close-knit family, I know that this person, whoever he is, has a better chance of ingratiating himself to my family if, if he's he into sports. sports. Mm -hmm. But oh, if he nice. wants to ingratiate himself to me, he needs to be into the arts. So it's an interesting balance, right, of an individual mm -hmm. that has both of those things, mm -hmm. right. I had uh, this weekend, my kindergarten best friend was in town, mm -hmm. Renee. Have you met Renee? I haven't met her. Well, anyway, uh, she and her husband have been married a long time. And she was, was telling us um, about how, you know, all the reasons why they're so happy. And one of them she said is because he doesn't like sports. Because she doesn't like sports, and you know, I think that you just have to kind of mesh, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, but I'm yeah, well, that like sports. Uh, I, I like a guy that likes sports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, like Sharon and I, neither one of us care for sports. All of our friends love sports. Okay, um, well, that's fair. And so we don't see them much on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <So you understand. laughs> we go to we go brunching. <laughs> so you you guys don't watch like the World Series or the Super Bowl? Every once in a while, usually I'll go to the Super Bowl mo mainly for the commercials. And I appreciate—I mean, I played sports. I appreciate sports, but mm -hmm. I don't follow sports. Like you know, I, yeah. I can appreciate it when somebody makes an amazing play on television, and I'll yes. you know Mad watch Ross. it if if it's on. I'll if I'll take a look at it. Yeah. But it's not something that I'm going to passionately follow, and I'm going to you know punch somebody because they rooted for the wrong team or you know anything right. like that. That's fair. Yeah. Owen, hmm. are you into sports? Yeah, I do love I do love sports. Well, I played I played for a majority of my life, so I feel like it's kind of knit into my um, your DNA. Yeah, my DNA. But yeah, I, if it's on, I'm kind of the same way. If it's on, I'll watch it. But I'm not like stressing to get home at exactly two o'clock to see this one game. So. Right, right. Even yeah. if it's a Super Bowl. Okay, well that's different. But like, yeah. Or the World Series. Of course, yeah. you're watching that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the World the, Series. The biggest, yeah. championship game. Yeah, it's championship games, you mm -hmm. know, seeing the best of the best. But it's mm -hmm. usually the last five minutes that's the best part of the game. Exactly. So. <laughs> I know I'm not a sport. I know sports are on when I see people start commenting on my Facebook feed. Um, that, that's, that's how that's... not into it I, I just don't care. Wait, wait, wait. So even, I didn't even, so we were talking about World Series. I didn't even know that the Diamondbacks were all the drama of that this year. Until people were starting to talk about it, and then I had to do my research. I'm like, 
okay. Okay, right. I'm, I'm caught up now. Yeah, but I was in a similar boat. I I wasn't following it. And as soon as it wasn't until my friends were talking about it, that I was like, oh, well, that happened. Well, Owen and I went to the World Series, and that was super fun. Even yeah, though we lost, game. it was yeah. it was a great game. So I love it. But that's cool. I, but that's your thing, yeah, right? right? And right. you know that. Yeah. I used to be that person that says, like, I can fake being a sports person because, well, I have a whole sports family. Mm -hmm. We all did sports. So yeah. it's not hard, that hard of a stretch. <laughs> but then I started to own, like, I don't, I don't, it's I really not, don't care right. about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Well, and that's part of being people, you know, surrounding yourself with, with supportive people. You're like, my friends, yeah, they give us a hard time, but they also know that I, mm -hmm. I don't care what the football thing is and the, the mm -hmm. you know, the la latest drama with somebody who did whatever. Um, and they respect that and they start talking about it. My eyes glaze over and I go talk to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for me, it's more of like a social event in some cases. Yeah, like if I'm exactly. watching sports, Well, yeah, if I'm I'm I'll go to a game and I'll go family. hang out with people, but, yeah. it's, it, but it's the same thing for me. It's social. It's, it's yeah, exactly. talking to the people that I'm around. Look, I will go to an ASU game. You will think I am the biggest fan. <laughs> I'm from head to toe decked out. I will cheer and scream like I've gone and lost my mind. Mm -hmm. But I don't, mm -hmm. but all my friends oh, are really? like, it's all an act. Hold on, hold on. You heard it here first, folks. It's Wait a minute. All an act. Hold on. You go and you dress up. Oh, I do. Enjoy it? I'm set. I go because it's a fun <laughs> event. I'm going and hanging. I go because yeah. I'm hanging out mm -hmm. with my friends. Mm -hmm. The only place I really don't go now, I feel like whispering, is baseball because that to me is just so boring. <laughs> so boring. <laughs> Let's take a while. Right? I'm sorry. It's so much more I fun to play. Ball. So it much is. That's my favorite. Play. Baseball players are so good looking. Oh my gosh, okay. they're so dreamy. That's a different reason to go. <laughs> they are so handsome. They're so quality. I love it's baseball like players. So many different things, but baseball. I've gone to enough games where I'm just like, no, oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord, not another yeah. baseball game. So getting back to our theme, yes. uh, what are some of your goals for 2024? Well, let's see. Um, one of my goals is to complete a uh, patio cover at our house because I'm the general contractor for it. Okay, good. Uh, and have that ready for summer when it's 110 degrees to have actually some shade in the back there. That, so that's, that's a big, big goal. goal. That's, that's a big a goal. goal. And it's nice to get it done before it's too hot to work on. Exactly. Yeah. So I've got about five months. Yep. Really? And so, yep. So I'm looking for a concrete guy right now. You have like three months until it's hot. Well, it depends on your budget. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anything under a hundred and over a hundred and five. Okay, we have the same definition. Yes. I was yes. like, after a hundred five, yes, it's, yeah, it's hot. hot. But before, but the, it's, you can cool down really? easy. Yeah. It's not bad. It's yeah. hard. Oh, wow. As long as I don't have to bake in the sun, I'm fine. I'll if go do over, yard work when it's a hundred, hundred and three. But I will wow. not do it at uh, over. Well, I won't go do yard work, but there's a whole ton of reasons why. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reason? I'm a diva. <laughs> <laughs> she has people do that work. <laughs> and I have I have people who do the hard stuff, but I do the more easy stuff. Yeah. So that's one of your number one goals. Do you have any others? I actually haven't written down my goals yet for 2024. Um, but I know they're going to be along the lines of more of what I got in 2023. I've, I've just been having a ball. Mm -hmm. um, I want to help more people. Uh, mm -hmm. having more coaching clients I think would be a, 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 an amazing goal. I haven't figured out how many or what kind or anything like that but um, for me it's going to be more about what I can do for people than what I need because I pretty much have everything I like I that one. That's a good one. Well should we have a song? Oh, sure. <laughs> sing a song about our goals. A song about Since our we, goals. I think we only have like 15 minutes left. Hmm. A song about our goals, huh? Hmm. Okay. Our 2024 <laughs> Happy New Year. This is going down. <laughs> and we can sing along. To, to this song that we're just learning right yeah. now? Yeah. We're just going to make it up. Okay. Yeah, he makes it up. It's a good song. Nice. We're sitting here talking about lots of different things. Maybe how we like sports or the Super Bowl. <laughs> Summer Olympics. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. We also want everybody to write something down and be positive about your goals. to 
fire what you want what do you want <laughs> step two is to write them down Step three is take a look at them and imagine how awesome it would be if they all came true. They all came true. And step four is just go out and do it. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Write it down. In 2024. Love yourself. <laughs> That's step 4.7, <laughs> or maybe 1.1, or maybe 0.5, because it's pretty important. <laughs> That's the free work. <laughs> step zero is love yourself. <laughs> January, we're not drinking beer. Not today. <laughs> At oh, least not today. <laughs> <laughs> and Pearl, that's not in her vocabulary. <laughs> but we want to know what's on her list. <laughs> that's right. Inquiring some minds want to know. Some people want to do. <laughs> some people who name rhymes with Kinga. <laughs> <laughs> Inquiry minds and all. <laughs> That's it. Because I have someone I want to set you up with. <laughs> I'm learning on that. That's a good way to end Saving the planet. One, One show, show at a time. time. Oh, we're having fun. Oh, so much fun. Well, I feel like I we asked Martin his mm -hmm. goals and his, you know, positive uh, vibes for 2024. What about Pearl? Oh, I gave mine. That's what kicked off the mm -hmm. whole conversation. Well, is well, that how about you? Just what's, a man what's your big goals? No, I have, <laughs> I have my revenue goals for my business. I have three specific goals for my business as well. Okay. Um, and then like an exercise, you know, healthy living relationship and organizing for my personal goals. Mm -hmm. so, Anything else? Ones. That's six big goals. <laughs> she wants them all. What, what she wants them all. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. I do. I actually have a lot. I mean, I haven't. They're in my mind. I just right. haven't written them down. That's okay. But uh, thank you. <laughs> that's okay. I haven't written mine down either. I'm gonna, but I haven't. Well, I think number one is to stay on the positive side of things, and and you know, mm -hmm. if there's anybody that kind of gets you into one of those modes where it's negative stay away mm -hmm. you know or just give you know say one word and like nope i'm not i'm not going there um i would say that's number one i would say number two would be um trying to live more healthy like um exercise mm -hmm. every day doing the weights meditation yoga um and i think uh trying to get more positive uh guests on the show and and you know, improving the show, mm -hmm. I think it's another good one. And uh, I would say just helping others, helping my family, friends, and spreading love. <laughs> yeah. Very That's good. pretty good. Yeah. I'm on your turn. Um, is what? that it? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 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 well, there's more, but I'll think of it. I'd like to save the world. Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> I know, that's okay. It's a good start. <laughs> no, but mine are mostly um, just enjoy uh, the ride, kind of keep a positive mentality most of the time. Uh, I want to go to some more raves this year. Yes, I want to do that explore too. Explore that <laughs> a little bit more. And then, you know, just make some more friends. I, I have a new job now, so excel in that. And, you know, just capitalize on opportunities that are presented to me. Beautiful. Because I want to expand that. my name and 
everything that you know, encompasses that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's great. Those are good. Those Get a little head start on the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, oh, that's right, because you'll be... I'll be 20 in May, so... Okay. 20 in May. My and then only one more year so until 21. So, so much, so much ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are up there. Where was I when I was 20? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to know the answer of that one? <laughs> well, let's I'm, see. I was in college. I was going to say I was in college. But I will also say, because this is a sad stat, but there's an encouragement afterwards. Mm -hmm. The stat is, I believe, 95% of people have ditched their New Year's resolutions by January 12th. Like, that's the, mm -hmm. that's the date. Damn. So we're very close. So I say all of this as you're listening to the show and other things. Remember, every new day that you're given is a new day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just because it didn't That's work true. out for you yesterday, cool. You got a new day. That's start, true. Start today. Yes. Well, that's what I said, like, um, trying to just be positive vibes mm -hmm. and just, sit, you know, being around people, which I already am, that are positive. I just love that. And, you know, trying to always, um, like, improve every day. I don't know whether it's reading or exercising hiking biking do swimming. something every yeah. a little bit every day yeah at, at Learn. Michael start Franti with a has, walk yeah start with a walk right michael fronty has one, one of my favorite songs that he does is uh it's never too late to start the day over mm -hmm. so not only yeah, I like that one is yes. the next day you know each day a blessing but each really each moment is a blessing if something bad happens the next moment can be beautiful it can mm -hmm. i've, I've had so those true. moments mm -hmm. where i'm like Okay, we're gonna give me. I need thirty minutes. I'm gonna recalibrate <laughs> yes. and come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And I think it's it's when you start beating yourself up, and then that that recalibration doesn't last for thirty minutes. It lasts for a while. Then you get then you get mad because you got mad, and you know you, you fall into this negative vortex, if you will. And I think a lot of people do that, and it's because they're so hard on themselves. Well, wouldn't you say one of the most important things is what you say to yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. most people have negative self-talk. Not everybody, but most people out there do. Mm -hmm. And so it's being cognizant of that, knowing mm -hmm. that that's happening. That's having some compassion for that. And it's also having compassion for yourself. And it's that's tough for some people. So if you have a client that is insecure, mm -hmm. um, what, what advice do you give them? The same advice that I give that we talk about here. Uh, reading, uh, improving themselves, you know, setting goals figuring out what they want to do and then start moving toward that, holding them accountable when they're not doing it. Um, all of those things, everything that we talk about on the show is, is what I talk with my clients about. I love that. Yeah. So how do people find you? We have about five minutes left. Uh, yes is more fun .com. <laughs> okay. It's yes. the best way and, to and find So that, that's the best way for uh, to get a hold a of me or, okay. or you can look at it. I'm on LinkedIn under Martin McMagnet. And if somebody wants to hire your band, same way just uh, okay. just give me a call we'll, we'll show up yes. <laughs> if i can get a hold of a boy my and band has been very busy but we are we, oh. we are going to have a cul-de-sac show okay you're coming up very soon when is it um it's going to be march 9th march it's 9th it's going to be at an undisclosed uh, cul-de-sac here in the valley obviously you guys are all invited but yeah it's going to be an afternoon, afternoon march 9th. thing on okay. march 9th it's out in it can be in valley so it's real close okay i was gonna um, say I'm gonna have to get some text info. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, we're just gonna play for about three hours, probably from like four to seven. And all the bandmates are available. That's a big deal. <laughs> that is a big deal. That's uh, it's hard to get them going. And uh, we've got one, uh, our drummer. He's uh, he's starting his own business, so you know that's that keeps him busy. So we, we feel very lucky to to have him when we get him. So uh, we cool. have about uh, a minute. Pearl, how do we find you? Lady Jewel. <laughs> I just like to <laughs> LadyJewel.net. How do people find you? <laughs> well, I'll, I, I merged my website with what I do in my head, and that did not clearly work out well. But you can find me at LadyJewel.net. I know we talked a lot about life, but just so you know, we work on brand and events here at Lady Jewel. So love to be able to bring your brand alive through an amazing event that elevates it. Awesome. I love that. Awesome. So in, in closing, we're working on ourselves, loving ourselves, loving each other, yes, and spreading positivity, learning That's every day, yeah. exercising, right? yes. all the good stuff, all the good, all the good stuff, all the good stuff, saving the planet, one, one show, show at a time. time.